and welcome to the Healthy Half Hour Podcast. We are your hosts, Richard and Karen Inslee. The Healthy Half Hour Podcast is your resource for all things healthy, and we will be discussing how to make nutrition, fitness, and lifestyle choices work for you. We will be sharing our own personal insights along with research gathered from working in the health and fitness industry for the past 10 years. Our show is brought to you by The 7 Day Shred, which can be found at 7dayshred.com. And please feel free to visit our podcast website, which can be found at healthyhalfhourpodcast.com. And now on to today's show. Welcome back to the Healthy Half Hour podcast and on the last show we were discussing the impact of disrespectful behaviour in the workplace, how it impacts employee health, leads to chronic disease, it increases employers' healthcare spending and how it reduces a company's productivity and bottom line. So today I have Jessica LaRusso back with me because today we actually want to talk about solutions and how we can navigate the psychosocial hazards and risk factors in the workplace. But let's talk about solutions. Yes. Okay, because we talked about all the horrible stuff, yes. yeah. you know, which is very uncivil, but you need to know. But let's talk about solutions because everybody talks about the bad stuff. Yeah. They, they do, right? Yeah. Everybody loves to complain. Oh, yeah. But let's stop. So... You have a wellness program and I have a civility initiative and a behavioral program as well that we teach people uh, strategies, methodologies, and solutions on on what to do uh, ongoing to help them become more healthier. And and if you can see me, I'm pointing at Karen. (laughs) (laughs) And, and then, and for me to employ a civility initiative and, you know, a profit initiative yeah. as well. So we have various ways that we do that. Uh, for me especially, I actually train people on how to set up things in the office. So, for example, we look at some policies. When, we, when I see an office that has an anti-bullying policy, what that's communicating is, is that you're not preparing anybody for anything. What you're preparing people for is... What do you do when when it happens? You're not preparing anybody. Because they're almost like expecting it Exactly. To yeah. And that's not very civil. That's not yeah. setting up a culture of civility, yeah. which, should see, which should actually be some of your values. Yes. And when we talk about values, we talk about the way we make decision making, the way we decide how to create a movement is by our ba- our values because we decide how we're going to, where our boundaries are going to be, how we're yeah. going to behave. Yeah. So that's an on and on. But um, that's one of the things that I sit down and do is actually do assessments, figure out what's going on, and then we're going to figure out how to streamline everything and make sure that you're you're creating that initiative yes. in your business. Yeah. Wellness. What do you do, Karen? Well, that's where we teamed up together because like a lot of the times you'll, when we actually go into companies and like you'll say to them like, well, what do you want in a wellness program? People don't know. Like, they've got no clue. They don't even know what wellness is. And people don't like to be lectured to. And a lot of times, like, it's not that we don't lack information. We like support nowadays. So what myself and Jessica are doing in particular, and I do with some of my lunch and learns, is that basically we want to educate you, but give you the necessary support to back up, like, how your physical health and emotional health is being impacted by that disrespectful behavior. And Jessica and I, I put together this two hour workshop that we can do in person, we can do via webinar. And we actually help people to understand the impacts because we don't like to just go into an organization and say, oh, this, 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 and this, and it'll cause this, this, and that. Like, it's like, okay, we we want you to totally understand. Because again, understanding something and being comfortable is all wellness as well. Because if you don't understand something, 
you your mind is confused and your health can deteriorate so we we try to get across to people how disrespectful behavior is affecting your health and how what you can do to actually combat it i guess yeah absolutely yeah make make wellness corrections make behavioral corrections as well so it's it's all a knock-on so like i said at the beginning of the podcast we we met what 12 years ago and we we knew that at some point we would like come together and yeah it has eventually but jessica and i obviously still do our independent like programming and together we saw this unique opportunity that it's like hey it was almost like that light bulb that this affects this and we need to address them both together they they're not separate uh, no, because we live in our bodies, apparently, and our yeah. heads attach. So <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> there you go. Yes, they are. And and ultimately, we, you know, I always bring this analogy where, you know, I can I can give you a hammer, and that's nice. Um, but if I show you how to use the hammer, then you have the skills that you can build that house. Yes. And you can build many houses instead of just one house. Exactly. So that's what we want to do. We want to help you. Yeah, because you can have an the environment. Be- you can have the best hammer in the world, but it's up to your skills as to how you implement and use that tool. So you can build a ten thousand dollar house or a ten million dollar house. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but you you, 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 you decide. You, you decide. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, so the other thing I want to like just get Jessica to just like chat about is oh, your, is your book my favorite book? Yes, yeah, so- Jessica. Like. Um, published a book um yes last I did. year was it yep through propriety publishing it went out we what well, you were at my launch yeah that was a fantastic yes. launch thank you for coming your wonderful husband richard read it and then he yes. teased me about i it. haven't had a chance to yet oh my god I, well see look I, at all the exercises and stuff you have to do oh okay. i have the book in hand so <laughs> so if you could see what i'm doing i so, have about four books on the go right now and oh. i i just yeah <laughs> well what the amazing thing about this book is i actually have a um uh, a learning disability. I'm dyslexic. But I think that just because the fact that I think differently yes. has really given me a great gift at the fact that I can be extremely creative and make, you know, I'm the, I'm the one who takes a uh, pig's ear and makes a silk purse. Oh. I'm amazing like that, right? <laughs> and you've seen me do it a few times, yes. Karen. <laughs> so the book is about communicating how fabulous you are. And of course I'm fabulous, but you need to communicate it in a way that people will listen and, and show that you're credible. You know what you're doing. You have a reputation. So there's different sections in the book with different exercises that talks about how you can take your business and communicate the fact that you are an expert in your industry. The book is divided into two parts. The first part is all about you and building up your personal credibility. Mm -hmm. Then it talks about your business as a whole, and it talks about how you can develop the reputation of your business. So there's exercises for that. Awesome. It doesn't mean that you're trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes, because we've had, um, I've done a conference where a gentleman had said, why are you teaching people to uh, lie? Oh, perfect. Let's have a conversation about that. Yeah. Um, why do you think that? And well, because you're t- teaching people how to, you know, present themselves in a certain way. I'm teaching them how to present themselves, communicate in a way so that they can tell people who they really are. And that's the important yeah, thing. That's not lying. Yes, exactly. Because so many people do not know how to mm-hmm. uh, communicate things. For example, when you go to a networking event... And you've been to a few yes, of them. Yes. And you've got the guy who just says, hey, my name is Jack. And since everybody's name is Jack today, <laughs> um, my name is Jack. And this is what I do. And I have this and I have that. And by the time that, you know, the f- 10 minutes that he spent talking about all about himself. Yes. And you're polite. You don't want to just walk away from him or or just roll Unless your you're eyes. Like that guy that walked out on your meeting. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah, so yeah, funny. Yeah. That, was, that was about 16 years ago. I always remember that. But your eyes are rolling over your head because, like, you're not making a connection with this person at all. No. So, statistically... You are, when you do that, you're only 8% effective. 
the 92% is the person, I don't believe anything you say and I don't care. And y- what you're doing yeah. is worthless. What is, what is that statistic? It says that people don't remember what you do. They remember how, you made, how they made you feel. Yes. The experience, the experience, yes. the experience. Yeah. So I actually teach people how to make an impact, yes. an influence, yeah. and influence not not manipulate, but it's about it's about serving the other person. And it's not about you. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. So then the next part of the book is about um, methodologies and strategies so that you are making profit in your business. Yes, and we all want to make profit. Yes, well, well I more do. Profit. And, yes, me and, too. <laughs> and that is where you know, build your own sandbox comes in, right? That analogy where it's great if you want to share your toys and stuff, but when people start, you can have another person in your sandbox. That's great. You can have a third person in your sandbox, but when you have 20 or 30 people in your sandbox, it's uncomfortable. You can't (laughs) play. So, you know, that's one of the things that we, that we teach is how to create that, that niche, how to take an idea. It could be a plain old idea. Yeah. So, for example, not that your idea is plain or your business is plain. I don't want to say that, but but for example, how many fitness people are there out are are there out there, Karen? I have no idea, but there's a lot. There's piles of them. Yeah, there's a lot of them in Winnipeg. Tons, yeah. tons is your yeah. tons. I can't say it with your accent. Tons, tons, tons. There's tons. <laughs> However, you you have personal training, or as someone in your group does personal or one of your employees does personal training. I know this. So, but there's lots of personal trainers out Mm -hmm. there. But the thing is, is that what is it that you do that's special, that differentiates yourself from everybody else? And then how do you communicate that? It's, it's, um, our industry is a personality based industry. So they're not actually paying us for our knowledge. They're paying us for who we are. So they, they actually are, like commissioning our services because they like us and it's really hard because like your person I mean your personality is your personality and it's going back to that comment that I just made about people don't remember what you do they remember they remember how you make them feel and it's how we make our clients feel and Rich and I do go above and beyond the call of duty and one of my clients my nutrition clients said to me a few years ago she says you are the most empathetic coach that I've ever like come across. And, and I looked at her and thought, well, okay, that's on several, I mean, a lot of my clients have said this of me as well, but I, I actually kind of, you know, went back to my computer, looked up empathy and I'm like, empathy, yeah. <laughs> you know, cause like, I'm like, empathy is not actually something that you can teach somebody to do. You can actually so, do that. You think so? Yes. Yeah. I, yes. Cause you got to remember environment shapes people and empathy you can teach. Yeah. It just, anything you can teach, just like yeah. a habit. Yeah. You, you well, know. for some people, it just comes, I think, more naturally. If you've like taught it to somebody, but I, I guess I just have that. You know, well, I'm, I'm going to interrupt you because yeah. you are being way too humble. Okay. <laughs> so let me tell you about Karen. Karen is an amazing lady who actually uh, when you talk about personal trainers and skill, you have a lot of skill. And the thing that you do is that you you actually will read that client and their needs and understand what their needs are. And this is where soft skills yes. comes into place where you mm-hmm. have very high s- social intelligence. Yes. And when we go and talk about social intelligence, and and I'll give you the stat on that one too, and you can you can look at this at uh, Harvard University, and also Dale Carnegie also did the study on it. It's eighty five percent of your financial success, your business success, comes from your people or soft skills. So that's why I said, can I learn empathy? Absolutely, you can learn. Yeah, you can learn. And the thing is, is that what you do, and she's being so humble. So I just <laughs> want to tell you, is that because you have done the work to understand and continue to do the work and work on yourself, you are spot on with your clients. And that's why you do well. 
Thank you, Jessica. You are welcome. But yeah. I just wanted to tell everybody <laughs> that she's being way too humble. And she has so many gifts, and meaning she has so many skills that she shares with her clients that she has built on. So you. there Thank you go. You, so Jessica. as much as it's fitness people or, you know, personality, yeah. no, yeah. there's a lot of skill and you communicate that. Yeah. I, I could be a fit. Sure. I'm a fitness person. I'm not a fitness person. <laughs> um, I'm a fitness person and I'm going to do whatever, and blah, blah, blah. but you have so yeah. much knowledge. So don't even go there as well. Yeah. You have an amazing oh, amount of knowledge that you share. So don't even go there. Yeah, I know. And like I say, I mean, like doing this podcast is so we can share some of the knowledge with like the listeners that obviously listen each week or every couple of weeks at the moment and um we're always listening to podcasts reading researching reading your book which i'm going to be like doing very soon and i always think that you should stay current and stay on top of it because when it comes to health and wellness out of any topic out there nutrition is always evolving and it is the one that evolves more than anything and all chronic disease developed as a result of your poor lifestyle and nutrition choices yeah like it really does and whether it's cancer whether it's heart disease it is like there's some genetics involved in there but to be honest like the majority of all chronic diseases like develops as a result of like poor choices through yeah. nutrition and lifestyle and things change all the time so yeah richard and i read and read and read and listen to podcasts and audio books and we just like we just like absorb it so that we can be a better resource to our clients because we want to be the best that we possibly can be so and scientific research yes develops and changes all the time oh yeah so yeah, yeah what happened 20 years ago is different yeah. in fact i remember when jazzercise Oh, I re- was yeah, in, I remember that, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm saying my age, but jazzercise <laughs> and aerobics was the thing, yeah. right? And this jarring, jumping c- crap, like people went and beat up their bodies. Mm-hmm. How about uh, even before that? And of course, you know, just through knowledge, it's not my age, but yeah, we these, don't know yeah. these. Th- these <laughs> not machines but these pinball kind of you know those pins on bowling where they take them and they they spin them around and that was an exercise like probably 100 years ago but it it ruined your roller rotor cuffs yeah but that was supposed to be amazing (laughs) or how about that belt that you put around your waist and you shake oh. it and that's supposed to lose weight too. Oh, I know. One okay, of, so come on. One of our friends actually had one of those in his parents' <laughs> basement like when we moved here and we're like, really? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So you know what? Science changes, neuroscience changes and it's, and it is important to understand and know. It's the, um, so here, would you go to a doctor who decided that they weren't going to do any continuing education and he was uh, from the 50s. Would you go to that doctor? Yeah. Uh, no, because I'd be scared. Yeah. So here's a funny story. So I get a phone call from a girlfriend of mine and she's crying. She's like, oh my God. Ah. I'm like, what's the matter? Well, what, what happened? She says, I went to the dentist. I'm like, what happened at the dentist? Well, I slapped down in his chair and he had this rickety old stuff and his drill was smoking and I was freaking out and everything was so old. And I'm like, okay, did you leave? Yes, I made an excuse and I laughed. Ah. And she was just freaked out. But that just goes to when you do not upgrade, when you do not yeah. search out those experts who have actually done the work, you're only hurting yourself. Exactly. And like when it comes to your health, like you've, you've got to keep your body in tip top condition. Or, exactly. Say, and like being proactive where you can. And like say keeping current and keeping on top of things and like say being credible and yes. being believable. So where can we get your book? Jessica? Okay. So it's on Amazon. Uh, dot ca and dot com D- dot ca you can only buy kindle dot com you can actually order the book however last friday so the friday that just passed i dropped off uh, some copies of be believable at mcnally and robertson Ooh. so here in winnipeg uh it's going to be at the grant location just oh, okay. yes, today as well exactly <laughs> so at the forks they may have a book, but I would phone just to find out which location they have it at and just pick it up there. Now, it's going to be um, $21.95, I believe. Okay. Or to, I can't remember. I think they put it at $21.95. And there you go. Pick it up. 
So awesome. I've been asked so, so many times. I wish I could get it locally. Well, I've there go there it is. Go, so, McNally and Robinson. So we can get it on kindleon.ca. We can yeah. get it the book on .com or we can go to McNally. Yeah. And McNally Robertson is a Canadian company. Good. Uh, yes. So that's supporting local. Yes. So uh, support your local entrepreneur and go to McNally and Robertson because we know that readers are leaders, right? Yes. They're they're you know so. Pick it up. Do the work. Yeah. Right? We always talk about do the work. Don't get something if you're not going to do the work because you will see an amazing changes when you do the work, especially in the book. There's lots of spaces to write. You should see how I b- beat up a book. <laughs> I'm the it. same. I made so many notes. And then Richard and I have even bought the same book for ourselves because like I want to make loads of notes and he wants to make loads of notes in it. So, But I have looked in your book and seen uh-huh. like the exercises and things that like oh, you yeah. can do in it so you might need more paper but yeah but, probably uh, yes there you go yes there's loads of space for the exercises so i want to thank jessica for being here today oh it's chatting. my pleasure no no it's always like fun anytime that me and jessica get together and we like i say we've got our own respective programs that we do richard's going to put jessica's website in the show notes Obviously, mine's in the show notes, I believe, most times. I don't know, because Richard does that side of it. I just get lazy and let him do it. Uh, (laughs) Oh, my my God. It's technology. I I just, yeah. You decided not to learn it, because everybody can learn a skill. Yes, and I just don't want to learn that one. There you go. That's that's better to say. say, And he feels useful. I keep him around for a reason, you see, then. Oh, my God. (laughs) You know, like, you know, he's, you know, I'll keep him around because he, you know, has his uses. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to well. listen to this guy. And like, he's oh, lovely. He is, Like, yeah. don't listen to her. She, he's yeah. a really great he's guy. A, he is a keeper. He's yeah. a keeper. So, <laughs> so, yeah, we're, um, I'm not quite sure who's going to be our next guest, but because we obviously touched on what Jessica and I do last week on the podcast and because we've mentioned Jessica's book and... I know that you've been away having fun in Vancouver. Yes, then. I have. Yeah, so oh, it was a work so, holiday. Work holiday. And work holiday. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. She's lying. No, I am she, lying. Actually, she took some valuable time off and needed it. Yes. So, so um, we will no doubt there'll be a big surprise as to who our next guest is. But I believe um, one of Richard's clients, well, a couple, husband and wife, and they lost an amazing amount of weight between them. I think they lost a whole person between them. Oh, good. Them. I'm so happy. Yeah, so their, their, their photos we've used on our social media. So I believe that we're going to be interviewing those guys next. So just obviously with being like summer and everybody wants to go away at the weekend right now. So uh, Yes, that's the deal. So thank you for listening. It's always so much fun having you here, Jessica. Thank you, Karen. And chatting to you. So we will talk to you next time. Bye. That's all we have time for right now, but we do hope that you join us for our next show. And if you want to contribute to an upcoming show by suggesting a topic that you would like us to discuss in more detail, then hop over to our website, healthyhalfhourpodcast.com, subscribe to our podcast and submit your suggestions. The Healthy Half Hour Podcast was brought to you by The 7 Day Shred, and don't forget to share our details with your friends and review our show. Until next time, thanks for listening.